alternative energy from the ocean. Ocean thermal energy conversion was conceived by the French engineer Jacques Darcival in 1881. However, at the time of this writing the Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii is home to the only operating experimental ATEC plant on the face of the Earth. ATEC is a potential alternative energy source that needs to be funded and explored much more than it presently is. The great hurdle to get over with ATEC implementation on a wide and practically useful level is cost. It is difficult to get the costs down to a reasonable level because of the processes presently utilized to drive ATEC. The ATEC plant pumps the warm seawater into the reaction chamber and boils the intermediate fluid. This results in the intermediate fluids vapor pushing the turbine of the engine, which thus generates electricity. The vapor is then cooled down by putting in cold seawater. Open cycle ATEC is not that different from closed cycling, except in the open cycle there is no intermediate fluid. The seawater itself is the driver of the turbine engine in this ATEC format. To cool down the vapor and create desalinated water for human consumption, the deeper ocean's cold waters are added to the vapor after it has generated sufficient electricity. Hybrid cycle ATEC is really just a theory for the time being. It seeks to describe the way that we could make maximum usage of the thermal energy at the ocean's waters. There are actually two sub-theories to the theory of hybrid cycling. The first involves using a closed cycling to generate electricity. At HEC plants, both open cycling and closed cycling kinds are also able to be utilized for pumping up cold deep sea water which can then be used for refrigeration and air conditioning. Furthermore, during the moderation period when the seawater is surrounding the plant, the enclosed that can be used for mariculture and aquaculture projects such as fish farming. There is clearly quite an array of products and services that we could derive from this alternative energy source.